This video is to demonstrate the MSW data processing using SurfSys software. The purpose of MSW data processing is to produce shear wave velocity profile. The main principle is based upon the dispersive nature of surface waves. Different wavelengths penetrate different depth of earth and corresponding waves velocities represent elastic property of earth within the penetrating depths. The processing of MSW data is typically performed in three steps. First, initial processing of seismic records. Second, estimating to mode dispersion curves. Third, inverting these curves to obtain 1D shear wave velocity profiles. Data processing begins by uploading SEC2 field records into the surfaces. Records are converted into KJS format, which is recognizable by the program. After the conversion into KGS format, the program collects information about the nature of the survey, active or passive method of data acquisition, and the setup of the survey, station number, offset distance, and geophone spacing. If there is more than one file to be processed, the next step is to stack data. The stacking helps to eliminate the random noise and improve the data quality. At first, muting is applied. The muting removes specific seismic energy, which is not related to the surface waves, and appears at a different arrival time range. During estimating the mode dispersion curves, Algorithms in the surfaces program are used to analyze each of the KGS files and determine surface wave phase velocity and frequency properties to plot representative dispersion curves. Due to the energy of surface waves, related measurements of amplitude can be used to highlight the energy of the fundamental mode. Each seismic record has a unique dispersion curve and each curve must be analyzed manually to select the best fit for the fundamental mode. After all records have been evaluated and the fundamental modes are selected, curves 
are then used as comparative tools during the inversion process. Surface attempts to generate a layered shear wave model that would produce a similar fundamental mode curvature as that extracted from field testing. The iterative process continues until the predetermined error tolerance is achieved or the maximum number of iterations is performed. The final product of a surface wave survey is a 1D or 2D velocity model.